course, next year it all comes to Green Bay in 2025, and already the preparations are underway. Don't forget, draft starts 7 o'clock tonight right here on WBAY TV. You can see crowds of people in Detroit right now. Our Emerson Layman is joining us live in Detroit with a closer look at the fun and excitement that will come here in just one year. Hi, Emerson. Hey, Bill, Cami. good evening from Detroit, Michigan, and we have been out here for the past two days, first alerting you viewers to everything that we are anticipating in Titletown in 2025, and we've got a First Lord update for you right here. The draft has just hit capacity for tonight, so they will not be allowing any more fans into the draft experience. We've been showing you inside for the last two hours. Now we're outside and all these fans that are out here, they will have to be watching from somewhere else. There's several viewing parties set up throughout the neighborhoods here in Detroit to give those fans that experience. They are expecting 420,000 fans here over the course of the three day draft. And over the next three days, Green Bay leaders are here learning about the draft. They're anticipating similar numbers next year a group of those leaders spending a few days here in Detroit learning everything they can so that Green Bay can be set up for success in 2025. Learned a lot about the logistics of, of an event of this scale and, and how they expect things to, uh, to play out. Fortunate to, that we, we staff a, a Packer game um, and have that process down pretty well. Um, and then transitioning that into um, a multi-day event. Um, we kind of know what to expect, but also know it's going to be a little bit different. So great to be here this week and to really learn and to meet some different business owners and talk about them and learn how they got to the point that they're at. You know, this is completely new for everybody in Green Bay, and I'm just really excited to have meetings with the NFL and the Packers and to understand what we can do to best support them. Every Green Bay leader that we spoke with just could not stress enough how thankful they were to the folks here in Detroit for the hospitality and helping them learn and be here firsthand so that they know what to experience when all of this craziness comes to Titletown in 2025. And I would second that the hospitality here in Detroit has been fantastic. So many amazing people just saying welcome to Detroit. They are so proud to have this event here in their city, and it is their time to shine over the next three days. Reporting here at the NFL Draft in Detroit, Emerson Lehman, Action 2 News. Exciting. It's going to be here in a year. Thanks, Emerson. Clear